Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, Kolo Yimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, who are laboring in the works. Shalom to the Lord's elect, the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe. And shalom to you, sincere believers, to the Akim wa Aqua, which be your brothers, few modest sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. All right. So, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying and plain upon the tables related to pestilences. I'm your brother, Manazar Gabar, out here in Pasadena, Texas. So today's topic is going to be related to pestilence. One of the plagues that our forefathers have spoke about when prophesying against many nations and great kingdoms. Okay. And that's happening again to today in this generation. All right. Prophesying against many nations and great kingdoms of what's to come to pass to their rulership, to their people, to their nation. Pestilence is one of them. Let me get that right quick. I do want to Um I see uh prophets before D and O prophesied against great kingdoms. Something along that line. <clears throat> Jeremiah 28 and 8. Okay. Copy that right quick. Okay, so the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, and verse 8 in the KJV. The prophets... That have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and great uh, and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. OK, uh, I think in a good news translation, it's, it's pretty good. Hold on. <clears throat> the prophets who spoke long ago before my time and yours predicted that's what prophecy goes into prophecy and etymology uh, let me get that right quick so like, yeah. to uh, predict future events prophesy prophesy um, okay prophesy See. Okay, all right. Let's go up to. All right, so this is the etymology, the root for prophecy. The function of a prophet, inspired utterance. Now, this is the part down here I want to get. Prediction of future events. Okay, prediction of future events. The prophets who spoke long ago, before my time and yours, predicted that war, starvation, and disease, right, pestilences, would come to many nations and powerful kingdoms. So that's what we're doing today as prophets. Like the scripture goes into how that the prophets... The spirits of the project, prop, prophets are subject to the prophets. Just paraphrasing. All right. Whatever you did in your past, you're going to do it in, in your next uh, reincarnation, in your next life. All right. Low willing, we are those same men. The same prophets. Okay. Of old who prophesy against many kingdoms, many nations and great powerful you know, kingdoms of war, pestilence, diseases, starvation, bad times. Okay. Because um, it just makes sense how we doing it today against 
Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, and against all these other heathen nations, okay? Against this eon. All right, so let's go to the articles very quick. So when you type in hyper virulent superbug that could spark the next pandemic detected in 16 countries, right? These are the the first page of the latest articles that came out. Uh, the elder brother Amwan Gabar, GMS Awakening 144, did a lesson on this. I think last night, if I'm not mistaken, he was live. From Daily Mail, hyper virulent superbug. Right, hyper virulent. Hypervirulent is an adjective that describes bacteria, viruses, or infections that cause dangerous diseases that affect people quickly. Quickly. Okay. Let's see. Causing diseases that are very dangerous and affect people extremely quickly. When you go into the etymology for pestilence, right? Any infectious, any infectious or contagious disease, fatal epidemic, pandemics, right? Worldwide uh, outbreaks, right? Uh, plague, epidemic. When you go into Latin, you get pestilentia, pestilentia. A plague and unwholesome atmosphere. It will become an unwholesome atmosphere when we when there's different types of pestilences, even pestilences that's not mentioned, recorded in the history of mankind, recorded in the Holy Bible, is going to be manifest in the real world. Diseases and pestilence not written in the book of the law, in the Holy Bible. It's going to be a time like Noble Four, man. Hypervirulent superbug. So pretty much a very dangerous, extremely contagious superbug, right? A uh, disease that can spread quickly, infect people quickly. Hypervirulent superbug that could spark next pandemic detected in 16 countries, including... UK, United Kingdom, Global Health Chiefs Warn. Okay. I left the links in the uh, description box of these three that you see highlighted in purple. When you go to this one, health warning after hypervirulent superbug that can delete healthy victims. Spreads to 16 countries, including the UK. Okay, even healthy victims. All right, that's why we need Yahweh Bashmi Awashai's mercy, his hedge, his hedge, his covering, his protection. Because outside of that, as an Israelite, you are in grave danger, literally. All right, we go to this one down here. Health warning after hypervirulent superbug that can delete healthy victims spreads to 16 countries, including the UK. All right, so yeah. So let's let the scripture speak for itself. We got this one, right? So, all right, the prophets of old, and low willing, we are those same prophets of old doing the same thing. All right, the prophets that have been had that the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied, right, predicted future events. Before thee of old prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms of war. And of evil and of pestilence. Okay. Um, 
Let's see. Let's get Matthew straight to the point. Seven through eight. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7 and 8, straight to the point. Red lettering, Lo Yahweh Shai prophesied. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, like hunger, starvation, scarcity of food, and pestilences, pandemics, unwholesome atmospheres of deadly diseases, hypervirulent superbugs, okay? Incurable diseases and earthquakes, right? So-called natural disasters, storms and tempests, uh, storms and tempests, uh, also commotion, right? Commotion slash uproars, rioting, sedition among men in diverse places in many parts of the world. So, for example, in many parts of the world, there's going to be pestilences, Right? Let's go back over here. Hypervirulent superbug that could spark next pandemic detected in 16 countries, including UK. Global health chief warns. 16 countries, diverse places, man. All right. The scripture speaking loud and clear more and more. Verse eight. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So this is just the first birth pains with more to come, more phases of the sorrows. And the, the phases, the next phases of the sorrows is going to get much more perilous, much more dangerous. OK, much more dangerous, much more evil. OK, this is just the beginning. Um, let's get Jeremiah 21 and 6. So, lock, yeah. I type a bit fast. My bad. Jeremiah chapter 21, verse 6 in the KJV. And I will smite the inhabitants of this city, both man and beast, even animals. They shall die of a great pestilence, a great pestilence. Pestilence, Strong's H, sixteen ninety one. The bar. Let me highlight this. From Strong's H, sixteen ninety six, in the sense of destroying. So the Lord is going to send pestilences, in the sense of destroying. Many people and animals alike of great pestilences, deadly, hypervirulent pestilences, man. Okay. You also get uh, Mervain, right? The Lord is setting a cattle disease, right? Plagues. He's plaguing even the, the cattle, the farm animals that. You know, people normally eat, right? With pestilences, man. All right? In the sense of destroying. Destroying the supply food chain. Right? Uh, breaking the staff of bread. Uh, destroying people by infecting their food. Right? It's about to get bad out here, man. This, this next famine is going to be very severe. Okay? When you read Genesis chapter 41 verse 31 and the NOT... It goes into how that this famine shall be so severe that even a good memory shall be erased. Just paraphrasing. All right. Um, let's get Deuteronomy right quick. Uh, 58. Right. 59, 60, 61. My bad. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verses 58 to 61, KJV. If thou, right, pertain to the Israelites, first and foremost, right? Hebrew Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians, similarly Indians, so-called, right? Uh, of the 12 tribes, right? If thou will not observe 
to do all the words of this law, which are which are written in this book, the Holy Bible, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, thy power, right? Is a commandment. It is our duty as a nation. This is our sole purpose. To 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 serve, to fear. Yahweh Shai and to rehearse, like keep his commandments and to rehearse it in the best of your ability. Worship our Lord. That's our sole purpose. For you Israelites out there that's still searching for your purpose. You are supposed to serve Yahweh Shai. Okay? And then you know. You'll find out exactly what you're supposed to do, you know, in this truth. You may be a teacher, right? Talking about the Israelite men. You may be a prophet. You may be a teacher. You may be a helper. You can do something that contributes to the body, to the church, okay? And you Israelite woman, you can contribute, help, some shape, way, and form. Uh, if, uh, okay, verse 59, so lucky, verse 59, right? Then the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, will make thy plagues wonderful, right? And it's like in a in a bad sense, okay, very grievous. And the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance, and sore sicknesses, and of long continuance, right? So the Lord is going to send incurable diseases. And horrible epidemics, man. Creating an unwholesome atmosphere of just pestilences, just either familiar pestilences, increasing these pestilences that's, that's already here, you know, boost them up, <laughs> you know, put them on roars. And, you know, even pestilences that's not mentioned in, in the Bible. We want to get that too in verse 61. Then the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues and of long continuance and sore sicknesses and of long continuance. Verse 60. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Right, I like verse 61 in the Good News Translation. Let me get that right quick. I think it's verse 60 and 61. Deuteronomy 28, 60 through 61. All right, so this is a Good News Translation. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse... 60 and 61. He will bring on you once again all the dreadful diseases. He will bring on you once again all the dreadful diseases you experienced in Egypt. And you will never recover. Right? 61. He will also send all kinds of diseases and epidemics, right? Pandemics that are not mentioned in this book of the Most High's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai's laws and teachings, and you will be destroyed. All right. So there's going to be some new, some new pestilence out here, man. All right. Some deadly pestilences where, you know, we're going to need divine intervention. Spirit, uh, miracles to happen, divine intervention, spiritual benefits, man. Okay? From Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. All right, so we get one more. Something sweet for the house of mourning. Uh, 
91. Let's see. Um, I'm going to get straight to the point, verse 9 and 10. The book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 9 and 10, and the KJV. Because thou has made the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. So because no low willing, we are those very elect, right? We're building our foundation, our house upon that rock, right? Yahweh Bashmi Shai, right? So when the winds come, the plagues come, the evils, the chaos, right, will be stable, okay, standing stiffly, being deeply ruled in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, while all these other Israelites, they're still BSing around, they're not taking it seriously, they're building their foundation outside of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the correct doctrine. When all hell break loose, they're going to be overtaken by the evils, the plagues, the, the, the bad times, man, right? When you go into plague in verse 10, right? Strong's H5061, Nagail, Nagail, um, you get disease, okay? Disease, right? So, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any disease, right? Any plague come nigh thy dwelling, right? Because what uh, the scripture goes into how um, uh, the righteous, uh, uh, the the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous run of into it and are safe. So not just knowing the names, but Worshipping the names, fearing those names, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, is going to be our uh, shield, our protection, our weapon, our tool, okay, our light, our defense mechanism against the evils that shall soon come to pass. Jacob's trouble, for an example, okay. So you know, don't so for the for the house of more than this the sincere believers, Akin Wa Akwa, especially those who are new in the, in the faith, new in the truth, right? The Lord is going to take care of us. Yes, we may have to go through some things to have our faith tried, right? But at least we were given something called hope, faith, being blessed with the understanding of the scriptures, prophecies, the will of our power. Okay, remembering, <coughs> remembering how, you know, our forefathers was always delivered in the midst of evils, chaos, plagues. Okay, all right. So other one rushes out the lesson was edifying, <clears throat> playing upon the tables, and exhorting to the house of mourning, to the house of fate. Repent, Yasha Allah. Or perish, okay? So it's closed out by giving a much do all phrases, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak, And double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, who are laboring and works. Shalom to you believers, to the Akim, wa Akwa, which will be your brothers, few modest sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth, listening and learning in silence. As the scriptures say so, Shalom to the elect, the 144,000 elect men. Kwam Yashallah. I'll be Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak, Wadash, Baal Kusha, Baal Kusha, Baal Kusha, Shalak Rayum, Wa Aidanshim, Wa Albayum, Wa Haragium, Wa Mashapatium, La Ko Adawamium, Wa Gawayum, Wa Ayabium Nawa, Wa La Pasadina, Texas, Wa La Babo. Abad, Babo, Abad, Babo, Abad, Babo, Babu Kusha, Babu Kusha, Babu Kusha, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, 
Bahashim Rachak Wadash, Tawada Tamya Tawab Aman.